We spent $20.56 at Walmart on just this uh, one, two, three, five things, $20.56. We bought a loaf of bread. We bought this pop, gourmet popcorn, which we've never seen. This is the chocolate caramel sea salt and cascade mix and the toffee butter. And you know, we'll do a review on all of those. And then Kevin spotted this Lay's Pico de Gallo, and it may have been around for a while, but we've never tried it. So we'll try that for a video as well. At Walgreens, we only spent $3.04. Uh, they have these delish candy bars at the counter, uh, and this is a variety pack, three different things, so I thought that was cool to try. And we also got the exclusive flavor Pringles jalapeno bacon, so those will be good for us to try. And then at Meyer, we spent... $51.20. I actually had some coupons. I forgot to use them, so shame on me, but uh, that's the way it goes. Um, I bought some Cheez-Its, and I found these in the International Foods aisle. These are actually made in India, so they look really good. And then I found these as well. Click, and uh, there's vanilla and fudge and cornflakes and i'm assuming like chocolate caramel pillows something like that caramel pillows maybe and then i bought a lion bar because when kevin and i were at epcot and disney we bought a lion peanut bar so i wanted to be able to compare the peanut bar to the regular bar because it's been so long since i've had one of these i just don't remember it and then we bought the new uh salted caramel cookies and the brown butter rum cookies, and also the cookies and cream fudge stripes. And then Kevin spotted these breakfast bagel bites. These are the bacon, egg, and cheese, and then we got uh, bacon, sausage, and cheese. And then I bought four of the Laughing Cow Spicy Pepper Jack. These are almost always sold out at our Walmart, so I went ahead and bought those. And then these are the new uh, Energy Loaves from uh, Vitalicious. I've done reviews on all their Vitatops, or on a lot of their Vitatops. And this, these are uh, loaves of bread, and this is banana nut, and then this one is apple cinnamon crumb. We went to our local health food store and I bought a big container of the chocolate PB2. It was $9.49. I know that sounds like a lot, but this will last me a long time because you only use two tablespoons for one sandwich. So it lasts a while. And then at Kroger, we spent uh, $22.75. Two of these things were free. This was the Free Friday, and they had lots of different flavors to choose from. This is just the one Kevin picked. And this, there was some pasta on the Free Friday that they did not have. Because they did not have that available, one of the managers let me pick out the same size pasta. It's a 12-ounce box of pasta for free. So, that was free, and that was awesome that she did that. We really appreciated it. And then um, someone wants us to try the Kemp's frozen yogurt. So Kevin picked out moose tracks. And we bought some pre patted um, hamburger um, beef patties. And we bought some hot dogs. And some smoked brats, Johnsonville. And I bought some eggs. And then don't fall down or anything, but we bought some vegetables. Bought tomato and a purple onion and a green pepper and some lettuce. Of course, that goes with the hamburger. Yeah, that goes with the <laughs> hamburger, so yeah, yeah. We spent $131.99 at Walmart. We brought, bought a package of hamburger buns, which look awful. They were perfect when we were picking them out. Um, and bread. Tostitos bite size, uh, wavy lays in the cheddar, and then classic, and then Doritos and Cheetos combination, 
And then we bought um, hamburger buns. And then Kevin spotted these. Sorry, hot dog buns. <laughs> and then Kevin spotted these. They are brat and sausage buns. And we bought some, uh, you saw uh, earlier at Kroger, we bought some bratwurst, so that'll go good on these. And some Austin peanut butter crackers. And I've got these completely free at the checkout because they sent me, I signed up way back for a free coupon in the mail, got my free coupon. Anyway, these were free. Uh, we finally found the uh, snack pack pudding bars in the chocolate fudge and chocolate caramel. Um, Canada, Canada girl something asked us to try the snowballs and the ding-dongs just because she lives in Canada and they don't get them there. So she would like to see how they look on camera. So I figured I would show those. Um, picked up some oatmeal. And then I had never seen these before. They're made by Fisher, the ones that make Fisher nuts. Uh, nut, exactly. Nut, exactly. Um, these are pecan and these are peanut popcorn dipped in yeah. peanut butter. I'm trying to read upside down. And then these are the almond and chocolate. and chocolate. And then we bought the goldfish in the cheeseburger. And I'm still looking for the goldfish puffs, the new ones. And then we bought Ben and Jerry's uh, half baked in the Froyo and just the regular to compare them. And we bought stick butter and tub butter. And Kevin bought this Marie Callender's meal. Um, he's going to do a review on it. This is a special request because normally he doesn't buy anything over 400 calories. This is 600, so only half of it. Um, then we bought some uh, Tide and Tostitos uh, Salsa, Crunchy Peanut Butter, and then Ashley wanted, Ashley's birthday's coming up Wednesday, she wanted a lemon cake, and so she wanted Kevin to make her a lemon cake, so we, uh, for the first time in years, she's not having a bakery cake, Kevin's going to make her a lemon cake, that's what she wanted, so... Uh, then Kevin bought three boxes of the sweet and salty peanut bars. I bought some sweetener. And we bought a great big container of vanilla ice cream. And we bought, um, we're cooking out for Ashley's birthday as well as having the cake. So we're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs on these plates. And then the dessert will be on this, these plates. And then uh, satin dental tape. And some more popcorn and creamer. And then the very last thing, these are chicken tenders and I'm leaving them in the package. I'm not even gonna take them out. Whitmire, we spent another, we went back, we spent another $3.89. I bought regular raspberry Pop-Tarts and I bought a Pepsi Max because someone wants me to try Pepsi Max versus Coke Zero. We'll see, because you know I love my Coke Zero. At Target, we only spent $13.81. We bought a box of the S'mores Pop-Tarts, and we bought the Blue Raspberry, and I thought they were a limited edition uh, to Target, but they're not, because we saw them at Meijer after we had already bought them from here. And then someone told me about this um, Reese's Dessert Bar Mix. This is a no-bake version, so I can't wait to try that. And then... Eric could tell me about these twisted gr grilled cheese puffs, goldfish puffs. And then we had never seen these before. These are supposed to be a Target exclusive. They have the Girl Scout caramel coconut and Girl Scout thin mints, and these are bars. So we will be trying those really soon.